Hi and welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video. I've uh, had some uh, health issues. I've broken uh, a small bone in my uh, in my foot, so I had uh, been jumping around on crutches. So when I'm making videos, I'm doing this as a one-man band. So it's been uh, kind of hard to do everything. Then so I just uh, postponed all the productions. Uh, not that it has been so much lately. So uh, um, by the way, I was thinking. Oh yeah. Um, since last time I posted something, uh, a good uh, video YouTuber I've been following, Keith Bettag, had had his birthday. Um, he's a kind of interesting guy, a very good uh, personality, but he's been turned 60. So, uh, Keith, here's to you. Cheers! <sighs> so, um, today I'm going to be making a chili con carne. It's going to be... Um, easy thing um, putting together. I'm just going to use some grounded beef um, and uh, a can of uh, crushed tomatoes, spices, things like that. Just um, mix it together and let it boil. And also going to use uh, pinto beans. Never tried it before so it'll be an in interesting um, experience. But um, enough uh, chit chat, let's do some cooking. The ingredients for my chili today will be, of course, chili powder. I'm using uh, uh, corn pepper, or uh, not corn, it's uh, ground pepper, uh, five uh, peppers. I'm using uh, cumin, salt, of course, um, paprika powder. I'm going to use some red uh, hot pickled um, uh, jalapenos. I'm going to use fresh uh, chili, uh, some onions chopped up and of course some uh, Italian um, style of, uh, of uh, chopped up uh, tomatoes in a can. So I think this will be good and of course um, I got some uh, Tabasco uh, habanero sauce and some uh, hot chili chipotle sauce and of course uh, grounded uh, lean beef the pinto beans are still boiling back in the, in the background here. I got to use uh, the pinto beans. Never tested it before. It'll be cool. It'll be good. So um, let's see. Let's start cooking. Okay, I have sliced up uh, one and a half onion uh, quite uh, coarsely. Uh, sliced up some uh, red hot um, or red jalapenos uh, pickled. Gonna um, soften up the onions. Add the uh, the jalapenos in in the in the stir uh, in the frying pan. Then I'm gonna go back into my uh, into my kettle. First thing I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna soften up in my uh, cast iron pan uh, skillet uh, one and a half onion. Also diced up some uh, red jalapeno pickle. Uh, that goes in with the with the onions. And then I'm gonna put it back into my uh, my uh, pot here. Um, then I'm gonna fry up the or brown up the uh, the grounded beef. Using medium to high heat, uh, and then turn the temperature down so we don't burn or caramelize the uh, the onions. Okay, the onion is uh, starting to soften up. I'm gonna add uh, uh, pickled jalapenos. Just about uh, three or four slices out of the can or out of the jar, and then I should just uh, roughly chop them up. Brings out a nice uh, color contrast, the yellow uh, onion and the, the red uh, jalapenos. I'm also going to add, um, at this moment, add some garlic, chopped up. I'm using uh, something called, uh, what we call as a Chinese, it's a solo, uh, solo garlic, so uh, yeah. 
just slice off a good, oh, lovely smell from the uh, jalapeno and onions and, the, and that uh, garlic. Now we're gonna add the beef. Using uh, just about uh, a little over uh, a pound of beef, and it's uh, store bought. Right, I'm gonna um, let this uh, meat brown up. I'll uh, pop back in when I'm going to add it to the uh, to the pot. Okay, I'll be adding some of the uh, the mixture of um, of the spices. It's um, uh, it, the amount will be in the in the description, but I'm using uh, using. Uh, I mentioned uh, the spices I mentioned before: uh, chili powder, pepper, uh, cumin, uh, paprika. Um, yeah. So uh, I'll be adding it to the meat. Like that. Oh, oh, fantastic smell! Gives a nice color to it as well. Oh, fantastic smell. It smells like tacos, actually. <laughs> but hey, that's Tex-Mex. Okay, <clears throat> the onion and uh, the beef has been mixed. Now I'm going to add uh, one can of uh, crushed tomatoes. And I'll be adding uh, some water. Just about enough uh, water to cover the meat in the pot. Just like that. I'll use about uh, uh, a cup, a little more perhaps. And then we're gonna let it uh, simmer for an hour. Thicken up, extract all the good uh, flavors. Then I'm gonna be adding uh, more uh, hot sauce and um, to bring some uh, heat to it. I think it will be good. So um, yeah, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be fun. Never done this before, so be cool. Okay, the uh, the chili has uh, been simmering for uh, just about an hour. I'm gonna add some uh, salt. You need some uh, just see. And 
And I'm gonna add some pinto beans to this. The taste of these uh, these beans, the pinto beans, are just fantastic. It never tasted anything like it. So it's uh, good. I'm gonna just uh, mix it gently in. Give it uh, just a few minutes, and um, I think it's ready to eat. Oh, just more some more beans and my dog is very interested in this don't be on the floor just come grab it Ooh. the smell of it all right the um, chili is done uh, for the occasion I'm going for a corona even brought on my uh, cowboy hat also a Corona hat, souvenir from uh, when I was in Mexico last year. Getting some um, nice chili. Fantastic. Have a look at this. Probably hot in uh, all terms of the word hot, but um, yeah. The taste test. Mm -hmm. Definitely got some uh, real heat to it. Um, I've used um, uh, chili, uh, chopped up fresh chili. I used um, pickled chili or jalapenos, red hot. I used uh, habanero sauce. I used um, chipotle sauce. Mmm, this was good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, um, Thanks you all for um, stopping by, please comment, please uh, subscribe and um, I want to say a thank you to, um, to Lyle at uh, No Hippie Barbecue for kicking my butt to uh, produce videos, That's, um, I really appreciate it. Also want to say uh, hi to um, Troy, um, uh, White Thunder Barbecue, you guys are there, uh, Heavy Metal Barbecue and um, the Wolf Pit, Larry, you're a stand-up guy. Um, and to all of you that I haven't mentioned, you're not forgotten. So, cheers from Norway. Uh, wish you all a happy, um, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cheers. Ah, salud. <laughs>